Hi guys, what's up? It's Emma. So today's video is going to be a thrift haul, but we're making it more exciting because this thrift haul was done completely virtual, no contact. Today's video is a thrift haul, fully virtual. I thrifted everything online just to make things COVID friendly. Personally, I'm pretty comfortable with going to thrift stores, but I feel like a bunch of people still aren't and the pandemic is kind of ramping back up. So I figured doing an activity that we all love while from the comfort of your bedroom, I literally ordered everything on my bed last week is the perfect idea. All these clothes are from ThreadUp. This video is sponsored by ThreadUp. Thank you for sponsoring it. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys a bunch of these outfits that I got, style them, what I would wear, how I'm gonna style them in the future and just like maybe even do a couple bit of like a little bit of like trend casting for winter 2021. I do have a code for 30% off your first thread up order. So on top of thrifting, good for the environment, great vibe, less of a footprint, no fast fashion. You can also get even more, save even more money. I'll put it right here on the screen. I honestly was expecting it to be good, but like not incredible. And then it was like incredible. So with that being said, we're just gonna start going through pieces, trying them on, explaining them, talking about the vibes, where they're from. So if you guys wanna see a online thrift haul, COVID friendly, um, just fun in general, then just keep watching. So the thing is I already wore half of these things already and I got this package like two days ago. They sell a lot of mainstream brands. So for half of the shopping I did, I entered Topshop because Topshop I thought was going out of business. I don't really know what was happening. So I searched a lot of stuff for secondhand Topshop and it was all on such good pricing. So the first thing I have is this blue silky style top. It kind of has a floral print on it with a little bit of like a loon sleeve shoulder detailing. This gives me Harry Styles vibes. I'm not like a crazy Harry Styles stan. Like I appreciate his music, but like I can see this being something he wears and I feel like silky shirts make me feel so refined and fancy. This was a piece I saw and knew that I needed. I love her. Then I have another shirt from Topshop. The funny thing is I actually remember shopping so prominently in London and I went to the, like the giant, one of the, I think, I don't know if it was a flagship, but a huge three level top shop store and I saw this shirt and I wanted it so bad but I didn't because I was like it's I had no room in my suitcase but it's a tattoo style t-shirt I feel like tattoo sleeve style shirts like Ed Hardy vibes and like Harley Davidson are so trendy right now with like graphic tees I love that it's long sleeve I love the bodice trim right here like it's also really trendy in terms of like corseting and like bodice style things but definitely a top I can see myself wearing a crap ton more okay this next top I love gives me very much like ink blot vibes what's the name of this the psychology things um it's like a hyphen like the, the ink cards the Rorschach how do you say that Rorschach Rorschach test okay that was scary um Rorschach test yes that one my favorite shirts honestly to wear going out are these little like tiny little sheer ones that are comfortable because they're so stretchy and you can wear bralettes I always wear these bralettes from Victoria's Secret they're like normal standard bralettes um with some of the bigger chests this is way more comfortable than an actual underwire bra because then I feel like I'm like on the front of a ship, you know? I also feel like I can put this underneath a turtleneck and be really cool with it, but it has like the little lettuce sleeves, super cute, super comfortable. This, I was so excited about finding. This is actually the first thing I found on the website and it was in my cart the entire time. I always do a thing where I put a bunch of things in my cart and then I do a vetting process, like of what gets eliminated from like the final choice, right? This was always number one in my cart, you know? So this is a plaid blazer from Alfred Dunner, which is a name that I see a lot when thrifting normally. I don't know, I honestly couldn't tell you who Alfred Dunner is. It has shoulder pads in it, which I feel like is low-key going to be a trend coming up in terms of like changing the silhouette, but it's a blue plaid blazer. Very cool. I'm getting into blazers. I also got two other ones. This is so weird, but I love the way that thrifted clothes smell. Like I know that people like complain about thrift store smells, but I walk in and feel like safe, like at home. Then I have this plain leather black skirt because I didn't have any plain skirts and I feel like I needed a good staple in my wardrobe to start wearing patterned tights with. So this skirt is by the brand Theory. It's a size six. I think it's definitely faux leather and it is a just normal, plain, great vibe skirt. It is a little bit too large in the waist. So I think I'm just honestly gonna safety pin it and be like, screw it. Or maybe sew a little like in it, but it literally fits everywhere else perfectly. And I can tell it's gonna be the perfect basic skirts for everything else. Then I have this sweater, which I've been wearing nonstop, mostly because the color is like insane. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten ready at literally 4 p.m. then procrastinated all day on filming this until it's 12 p.m. at night. But we have this magenta sweater, really cute, love the color. It's also so soft. My favorite thing during the winter is getting turtlenecks like this, which you can wear with sports bras because one, it minimizes how top heavy I look. Two, it's comfortable. Three, so this color is so cool. I think it looks really good with my blonde when I'm a little bit tanner. This and my black leather pants, I've been loving lately. But this is a Banana Republic sweater. Like that is like 
a fancy ass lady sweater, you know, like a big girl sweater, a fancy sweater. Um, and I love it so much. This one I also got to fuel the turtleneck obsession. It is bad how much I love them because it lets me wear a sports bra. And I feel like the turtlenecks are so sophisticated. But this one is a turtleneck cutoff, so it's a little short sleeve moment. It has a really thick neck, really bulky, also a really interesting color. It's like red, but also pink. Once again, comfy, fuzzy, helps you layer it in winter without being too heavy or bulky. Kind of holiday party vibes. I feel like once again with like a skirt pattern tights and boots. We're reuniting with the love on the blazers, I'm telling you. This blazer I'm pretty sure is from Topshop. Um, but I've been getting into blazers that make you look so sophisticated. It's an instant outfit, especially if they're comfortable. You can wear this shit to DECA. You can wear this to like a, your interview. Like now that I'm kind of being a semi-adult, like I have a LinkedIn, I need to be professional. This is a plain black blazer. I kind of got it oversized for like a slouchy, like maybe like model off-duty type vibe. Um, really comfortable. Excited to style this to be a sophisticated woman. Am I going anywhere sophisticated as of right now? No. Then I have this fancy little number. Once again, you guys know I'm obsessed with color. Once again, it's from Topshop. But I got this because I wanted a fun holiday piece and I kept looking at this and the outfit that I'm gonna put together, you're gonna see it while I'm talking about it literally right now. This dress, pattern tights, black boots, leather jacket. I just love aqua right now, like this teal color. This kind of arm shape is really flattering on me too because I really don't like my upper arms. So this kind of scoops around it and covers a little bit but still shows off my arms that I actually do like. Also original tags, this was originally would have been $85. I'm pretty sure I got it for like under 40. I'll have the exact things at the bottom, but this dress, if I had a holiday party, then I got this fun little scarf. I think scarves are so fun to thrift. They're always so versatile. My grandma always kept a like basket of scarves and I just think that was so cool. So I want to start collecting scarves when I'm a grandma because you guys know I'm going to be a dope ass grandma, obviously. I think scarves are so fun because one, they're really pretty and they're cool. This is a black and white one, a really cool basic pattern. My scarves are traditionally colorful, so I wanted to shake things up a little bit bit shake things up. One, you can wear as a top, put it on, tie it behind your back. It's a cute summer piece. You can tie these around a handbag. You can tie these up and put them in your hair. You can tie this. I'm going to look up a Pinterest thing, but I'm pretty sure you can tie scarves like this like 80 different ways. We have so many options here in scarves and this scarf was under $15 and I just had like 20 uses out of it. I feel like a chic woman on like the coast of some other country and I probably have a jet somewhere and probably a really handsome rich husband. Honestly, that is the goal. Okay, so we all know that the whole like knee-high boot thing it's been a trend I got my first pair of go-go boots off of Amazon they're great but they're more like party city vibes they're like plasticky which are cute but I wanted more sophisticated could be like real life boots kind of thing suede knee-high black boots really nice really comfortable and these are going to be the boot of the season I'm telling you knee-high boots I want these in pink I want them in crocodile I want them in a better form of white give me green I don't care and my biggest thing is I'm clumsy as hell I cannot walk in heels I can't walk in them sober I cannot walk in them drunk I cannot walking them period so if I have a going out shoe or a heel that I'm gonna be using it needs to be comfortable now I'm not saying I'll be running around New York City in these but I can do more than just put them on for an Instagram picture and then run away normally I'm not a belt girl I just think belts look funky on me but this one's cool you can see kind of in this reflection but it has a crocodile print on it I feel like also crocodile print is going to be huge for trend casting this next year I bought this the idea to cinch a white button-down t-shirt hopefully with tights and the boots I was just talking about but it's stretchy belt really comfortable really cool I think every trend I thought was super ugly in like 2005 aka like boots belts brown as a whole they're all gonna be trendy also under $15 then to continue the fact that I am a fake businesswoman I got another blazer this one where's it from guys it's from Topshop. This is serving me Italian vibes, back of a Vespa vibes. I probably have a hair scarf in vibes, like over the hair, like I'm in a convertible energy, red lipstick maybe. Really loose, really airy, really cool. A good layering piece, trying to incorporate good neutral basics, kind of tone down, but elevate my wardrobe if that makes any sense. Not to mention, the thread up stuff comes in the cutest packaging. All this like teal polka dotty stuff. I was probably supposed to unbox this on camera, but I got too excited. Um, and ripped into it. I did take a picture though, and it was really cute. That was my thread up haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be using this all the time. It's not even funny because thrifting is really fun, but it takes energy, and if I can do it from my bed just as easy as I can in the store, it depends on the thrift vibe, but thrifting from your bed is so fun and so easy. Like I said, I have a discount code right here for 30% off your first order. We are bargain shoppers, ladies and gents, okay? We have things to travel, people to see, and things to do things to travel, right? Um, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll leave my Instagram right here. I'll leave my TikTok right here. You guys can follow them both. Now I have to try everything on. What time is it, you might ask? What time is it? Oh, yeah. It's 12.16.
let me know if you guys want more thrifting vlogs. I definitely will be doing it more often. They're coming. Let me know what other kind of content you want down below. Send me suggestions. Do you have an Instagram? Need advice? Need help? Need whatever? If you need kind of girl talky stuff, I do a lot of lives on my TikTok where it's like a small group of us and we talk about a lot of different things. I love you guys all so much. I hope you had a great holiday season and I'm excited for 2021 because 2021 can literally kiss my ass. My tagline in the day used to be Mwah. I'm not even kidding. Don't look it up because it was a thing. Um, so now, oh, now what is it? I forgot. I let it go. Peace. And the video ends. So, combo? You need to leave. I need to leave. We're all leaving. Bye.